Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And I got to tell you about my new favorite YouTube channel that's absolutely incredible. It got recommended to me the other week and since then, I've been loving every second of it. And it's this channel, it's called Support Court with Judge Vonda B. And this is one of their most viewed videos in the channel. It's just titled, Support Court, He Lives in My House. So obviously, we gotta go and watch this video right after we destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And now with that said, let's begin. Mr. Carter, it looks like you brought this case. So what's going on? Yes, Your Honor. Um, <clears throat> I am a manager at an urban clothing store. And I only make $35,000 a year, and I'm paying child support. Toward my ex-wife here, she, uh, she- Oh, she looks angry. You could tell she does not want to be there. She's like, this is a waste of my time. I need the full amount of money. Good luck to him, because uh, he's going to need it. Dental assistant, and also she does Herbalife distribution. And she's making a little over 200 grand a year. And uh, I just need a little help. No way, what? Wait a second, okay. On what planet does he owe her child support when he's making 30K and she's making $200,000? How does that work? I think child support is really just meant to balance things out. So you don't have one parent going and like living in the slums while the other one is like in Beverly Park in a $50 million house and you have a child going between the two. It's just meant to create some stability in the child's life. But anyway, if this is the case, that is absurd. She's not uh, doing child support at all and um it's a struggle for me right now. I'm a retired uh, U.S. veteran, and uh, it's just a struggle with my two, my two boys. Okay. Ma'am? Yes? Oh, man. Ma'am, what do you have to say about this? Yes. She's angry. What? I'm curious what, what happened between these two, because at one point, they cared about each other. At one point, there was a spark there. They're having a great time. What then causes a rift between the two that she is just always just upset? Do you agree with everything that he's saying? No, I do not. Okay, so what is If he on? stayed at the casinos, he probably would have more money than he does. Oh, drop the bomb there. But you know what, maybe, maybe, listen, maybe that's his outlet. If, uh, if he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he has no other vices, may maybe just spend him 50 bucks every now and then at the casino. It's not the worst thing. That's not true, Your Honor. Mm. I'm always home with my boys when I'm not working. Okay, you, who is paying child support in this case? And I have custody of my boys. Oh man, he's, the, what is he paying her for? That makes no sense, that makes it. Listen, I would just break this down as follows. Who's making more money? Who's taking care of the children? How is that time evenly split? And then, and then do that accordingly. It doesn't matter if he goes to the casino. It doesn't matter if he's a veteran. It doesn't matter if she's making, well, it does matter if she's making $200,000. But you just divvy it up accordingly. The whole story is just white noise. It looks like you got split custody. So it says Sunday <clears throat> through one week with one, par one parent and then Sunday Well, here's the thing, week. Your Honor. She's always on vacation. She's always gone. So I've had my boys for a uh, little Lies. over seven weeks straight. <laughs> Lies. Ma'am, you see this man right here? He will make sure that you are escorted out of this courtroom. Everyone is so serious. Can one person just smile? We need one smile in the courtroom, please. Just have this guy just, he's having a good day. He's just, he's just a fly on the wall. He gets to listen to this. I've had my boys for seven weeks straight. She hasn't seen her boys in seven, seven weeks. Seven weeks straight. Wait a minute, you guys are supposed to be <coughs> alternating weeks because <coughs> if the children are with him seven weeks straight. That means his expenses are increasing. And based on the paperwork that you provided from your employer, it says here you make about $125,000 as, what is it, where, where is it that you're working? Oh, she's making bank compared to his 36. I don't get to begin with how they would look at that and be like the guy just owes her money when she's making three times more than what he makes. I work for a dental firm. Okay. And we make a lot of different castings and models for false teeth and implants. However, Your Honor, when I've been out, it's because I've been doing training. Ooh, she was about to go off. Did you see that? She's restraining herself, very nice. He's calling it vacation, she's calling it training. Who's to say she's not training in Hawaii on the beach, getting a tan with a Mai Tai? Just saying. No one is disputing whether or not you're doing training, but according to the documents that you provided, you make about $125,000 
at your main job and then an additional $25,000 doing Herbalife on the side. Ooh, Herbalife, that's an MLM for anyone who doesn't know. So she's getting her friends to sign up who could also sell Herbalife, who could get other people to sign up to sell Herbalife as well. And just everyone's going and signing up for Herbalife to sell other people on signing up for Herbalife. That's the whole thing. So that amounts to about $150,000 a year. This man only makes $35,000 and you think he should still be paying child support and he has the children more than you? It's yeah, see, that's right. That's why I like Judge Von to be so much. She's the voice of wisdom be besides me. How could these people not figure it out amongst themselves? That just blows my mind. She's making $150,000 a year. Chances are, she's, uh, she's got the capability to just figure this out, like between the two of them. I don't know why we need a judge to, uh, to set this because the these are adult problems that could be just settled with the shake of a hand, in my opinion. Is, is that what you're asking me to do? I, I'm just letting you know that. I don't, I don't need to know what you're letting me know. I need for you to answer my question. Is that what you're asking me to do? Allow this man to keep paying child support hmm. and you're making a hundred, excuse me, that's my job, thanks. <laughs> Love how she puts him in the plate. That's my, I wish I could talk to people like that. I am, I am so respectful. If someone talks, I'm like, oh, all right, you know, I'll, I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. To go for it. Interrupted you. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Sorry, you guys finish. I pay for the boys' private school. They have private piano lessons. I pay for... It doesn't matter what she's paying. I mean, that's just what a parent should do to begin with. Well, I guess they don't need private piano lessons, but that's nice. But regardless, doing that's not going to get her off the hook here. I pay excuse their me, excuse health me, your insurance. Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. Both of my boys are on scholarship. Okay. Ha! Okay. Ah, this just gets... What a twist! She pays for the school, but they're on scholarship. It's like saying, uh, you know what? Water's on me tonight, guys. Get as much water as you want at the restaurant when the water's included. It's free. Sir, what type of things are you able to afford to do with your boys? And take into account your bills and everything like that? Uh, after bills and everything is taken care of, after my boys are fed, luckily give them some clothes that they need to go outside and play at the park. Maybe so, six flags every now and again. Okay. That's pretty good, six flags every now and then. That's a, that, that's a pretty nice child, I have to say. Okay, ma'am, what are some of the things that you're able to do with the boys? As much as I can when he allows them to come over. You know what? See, you're playing games. Let me ask you the question. What has she done with the boys? She takes them to Paris. They go overseas. Paris. Uh, they've been I've on Dis been Disney cruises. Why wouldn't she mention that? That's nice. The mom has to mention. I don't know why she's playing games like this. The mom would say, listen, I took them to Paris. First class. They ate, uh, what's the, uh, the snail? Escargot. They had a great time. Uh, because I make bank. Um, every time she gets them, they're going somewhere special and fancy and whoa. <laughs> like, how come they didn't do this together? Maybe that's why they're not together anymore. Well, I mean, it would make sense if you were making one hundred and fifty thousand. And she just year, lucked right? up on a job, Your Honor. So just to be. And this quite is considering honest. he's living in my three hundred fifty thousand dollar house, and he doesn't pay any type of mortgage at all whatsoever. You have a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar. Why wasn't this mentioned earlier? This just keep tw we're twisting. It's just like we'll make a U-turn, okay? And then you thought what was gonna happen, then you make another U-turn, and then another one, and then you flip that and turn it upside down. How does this, why? Ma'am. He lives in the $350,000 he, he lives in it, but you own it, honor. right? You own it. You and have he all doesn't of pay this any money. Bills. You have all of the, but the kids have been with him for seven weeks, ma'am. Because I time. was doing training so I can continue to take, send them to the private schools that they attend. Well, it, and have the best. <laughs> the private schools on scholarship. The house, yeah. you know what? I mean, tech, he, he could be responsible for his own housing. I mean, uh, let's give him that. Like, you know, she has the choice to rent out the house. If she owns the house, it's in her name. It's up to her what she does with that house. I, just, honestly, I would just rent out the house. Let, let him figure out his housing situation. And yeah. the finer thing. thing. That's, that's great. But you know what? You know what? That's why you come to court so I can resolve these issues, right? So let me tell you what we're about to do. $150,000 a year. <sighs> Uh, she's about to get taken to the cleaners because she makes a lot more than he does. I have your gross at 12500 How many children do you have, ma'am? Two. Wow! Fed her gross at $12,000. How did she go from twelve grand 
to 150. And meanwhile, he's paying child support to her based on the $12,000 a year while he's making 36. That makes no sense. Oh, and then I do make... take care of my sister's three children as well. Doesn't matter what you're doing on the day. You could be, you could be donating all of your time to save orphans from burning buildings. It doesn't matter. So, Whose children are these? Our sons belong to him and I, but I have three okay. of my sister's children that I'm, I... I'm... It doesn't matter. That, why is that his responsibility to pay for your sister's kids? Uh-uh. Anybody else's kids are not a part of this case. Under Wouldn't anybody understand that? Like, I feel like you're on my side, right? Like, you watching. You get this, right? How come these people, they're obviously sophisticated enough. They're, they're making decent money. He's taking care of the kid. He's taking him to Six Flags every now and then. She's taking him to Paris. How could they not just figure this out themselves? It blows my mind. Based on this, I did an offset of what you would make and what your child support obligation should be a month. So your child support obligation comes out to $1,456 a month. That is to be paid each month on the first of each month. And those payments are going to be allocated to Mr. Carter. Wow. See, look at that. See, this is why she was angry because she knew no matter what happened, she's spending like 18K a year. But you have to admit, listen, 18K on 150, what is that? Like, but you know what? Are child support payments tax deductible? That's a great question. Let's figure this out. No way. This is bad. Okay, so child support payments are neither deductible by the payer nor taxable by the recipient. So that means that the other person has to pay taxes on the child support so that the person receiving it doesn't have to pay anything. Now she's in the highest tax bracket. So for her, it costs her a lot more to send that $1,500 than if he were to pay tax on that $1,500 because he's in a lower tax bracket. I had no idea. That's dangerous on those child support payments. Uh, I wish those were tax deductible. I mean, listen, the person receiving it should, should be the one paying the tax on it. But you know what? The IRS doesn't want that because the person receiving isn't making as much money. So the government doesn't get as much money. That's really what it comes down to. It's not fair to your children that at dad's house, they're not able to do as much as they are to do with you and it's not to punish you for having a great job. That's awesome. However, when you think about what's in the best interest of these children, they can't go to Disneyland and do all of that with dad. You, do you, did, did you ever stop to- Dad's taking him to Six Flags. She's taking him to Paris. But you know what, honestly, when I was a kid, I didn't care. I, listen, going down to the local park may as well have been the same thing as Paris. I didn't know any better. I really wasn't until I was like 15, 16 did I even like really understand. I was like, oh, you can go travel. When I was like 12, there was nothing more fun than sitting in front of the TV playing a Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Seriously, like that, that to me, that's my Disneyland. So I, I don't know. I think kids could be pretty easy, but then I don't have any kids. But uh, anyway, uh, that was my childhood. No, no issues there. Ask your kids how they feel about that. It's not fair to get to do everything with you and not with dad. And Your he Honor, only makes $35,000 a year. Your Honor, I understand. But when I was out getting education, he decided to run around and chase everything that had legs. Okay. Okay. Oh, see, here's the thing, too. If that's true, she's got a point. You know, if she's trying to better herself and she's really trying to come up in the world and he's just sitting there just like, you know, Chasing anything with legs. I kind of understand that too, but at the end of the day, it's like you got to look over the best interest of the children and you would hope that that money would be spent towards the children and not for him to like take people out on dates or do whatever. But uh, that's where we get into the nuance of this that I could never do this. That's why. You know what? You guys need to be in a different court for that. That has nothing to do with me. Anything else pertaining to these children and the money's here. Anything no, you're else? Right. No, you're right. no, you're Anything right. else from you? No, okay, no, no. thank you. You all may be excused. Oh, he's happy. He's like, no, 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 you're on it. Let's stop there. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go. Let's go. Because he's now like, his income just went up by uh, like 50% just, just with this today. So overall, guys, I got to say Judge Vonda B, so fair. I really like her advice. For anybody who wants to subscribe to the channel, go and check out Support Court with uh, Judge Vonda B. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. My Instagram is right here if you want to follow me there as on the Iced Coffee Hour podcast. You may as well do that. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.